Assalamu alaikum, this is Fahim. Today I am going to show you an amazing thing that you can do very quickly and you can establish your static website in GitHub page. Alright, so we are going to use Doxify, a magical documentation site generator. So this is their website, doxify.js.org and they have a nice documentation here as well. You can simply click on getting started and there you go there nice documentation and if you are wondering about how good website you can create using doxify then i can show you two projects from github the first one is this kuda wsl2 ubuntu this is my project and i have used doxify let me simply open this uh, url here you see this right so i have used the dark theme you can Go back to light mode and dark mode if you click here it will take you to the repository and you can search through here and you are getting nice sidebar and you can expand or close it and you can see all of it right let's say i want to go to a step 7 coda if i simply click on this it's taking me to the exact position so I have created this using Toxify and obviously I have used our custom CSS which I have taken from Pradumna Saraf. So that's why it looks good. And then comes to another great repository open source with Pradumna. And this is the repository he used Toxify as well. And this is the live site as you can see right here. So it also contains dark mode, light mode. This is the uh home pages that are report twitter and you can obviously search through here it has pages bootcamp how to resources and so on and so forth and obviously you can assume that everything that has happened here is built using doxify so obviously you can create this type of amazing website the static websites obviously completely free of cost and within a few moments so if you are interested then you have to watch it so here you can see their features no statically built html files simple but lightweight smart full text search plugin multiple themes useful plugin api emoji support compatible with ie 11 support server side rendering you can see the examples right here so all right doxify is our demo however check out the showcase to see doxify e news let me simply browse there well this is it it contains a bunch of documentation it contains a bunch of documentation right here as you can see so you can pretty much assume how it works and how it looks all right so i'm not gonna worry about that right now because i am simply going to show you how you can use it in your website in your existing website or if you want to create a new website in it how you can do that all right so simply i can go to quick start guide and here first of all i need to install a uh, doxify cli if i don't have that installed already in my system so yeah obviously i would recommend you to do that globally as we would use toxify a lot all right so let me simply create a temporary folder let's say i'm simply gonna name it something like yt for now all right there you go and here i can directly open my terminal or let's say i can also open my visual studio code but as i prefer to use vs code so i can simply use that i guess so here i can simply open my terminal by clicking here or i can also use the shortcut key for windows and linux that would be Control shift and the tilde sign mostly i'm not sure uh, what we call it but let's say like this and now i would also recommend you to install doxify cli globally so i can simply copy and paste it here and press enter npmi doxify cli dash g all right give it some time to install it all right 
it has installed the package successfully cool now let's go to their documentation here i can initialize this directory by using doxify init dot docs cool it would create a docs subdirectory all right let's use it for now i can simply copy and paste it here so here you see that the docs folder has been generated it already contains a no jql file and index.html and the readme file all right and if i want to run it i can simply use this doxify serve and the directory which contains the index file as here the docs directory contains the index file index.html so i'm specifying that doxify serve docs and it started i can simply go to this link and here you see it right this is coming from this index document document let's say i'm simply changing it to something like proxify right and you can see the update real time right so i can simply keep it side by side so that you can see it clearly this is the meta tag description viewport style sheet you can also use custom style sheet if you want window doxify all right repo and this script that's it and if i simply go to the readme file you see that what we keep in the readme file is directly generated here so let's say i'm changing it something like doxify tutorial you see it's getting changed and let's say i am making a tutorial using toxify sorry toxify yep it's generating it and here i am getting a sidebar so it's also working and obviously you can modify it all right now let me simply talk about the themes i do believe that they would give you the opportunity to customize you, your themes but they already provide you four different themes you can see them right here all right but if i go to the other themes all right you can customize the theme if you want obviously all right and for now let me simply check their pre-built theme they have four pre-built themes as you can see right here one of them is view.css bubble dark and pure and you can check the preview right here as well let's say view.css if you simply click here you should see the preview all right i guess this is the default view.css preview and if i simply go to bubble.css you see it has changed cool and dark.css it's dark the search bar whatever pure.css it's like this so that's it uh, they already have four pre-built themes you can use them if you want you can also customize them if i'm not mistaken then obviously you can customize them right and their documentation is quite nice so you can simply check out all of their features and how to write a plugin set up template or anything else so i would recommend you to check out their documentation this documentation is quite nice i really like it so let's say i'm simply changing the themes from what i currently have here in my index.html you see that i currently have the view theme all right review theme cool. now let me simply change it something change it to something like i already have view.css and i can change to this bubble.css so you see the theme has already been changed to bubble.css and it says obviously you can simply copy and paste the whole cdn file link here as well as you see that the difference is in the theme name section dot before dot css so i can simply copy this part as well that would do the task for me right now dark and this is the dark theme this is the dark theme and i do believe they give you the option to change these colors you can do that from your index.html and if not 
today i will show you how you can do that too in another video make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss those types of videos all right and the last of all the pure.css pure.css like this so this looks like this cool right toxify tutorial so you can create more pages you can customize them you can add your custom navbar sorry navbar then sidebar or anything else and if you want me to make a video out of it make sure to let me know in the comment section so that i would create a full length video on how you can customize a lot of things here so i hope that's it for today should be good and what you can do with it if you are using a very simple static website for sharing any resources then obviously you can do that because it looks better than github's pre-built static site theme right and there are many chances of customizing the theme as you want and it's very fast as you can see right here right so obviously you can do that now today i have showed you how you can do that in your local machine but obviously you can do that in your cloud i'll show those to you as well so this is it for today thank you everyone if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends if you haven't subscribed to this channel then make sure to subscribe to it and i will see you again don't take care Ta -ta.